Earth's freshwater ecosystems are arguably its most vibrant ecosystems, and some of its waters are full of weird and wonderful creatures. In today's video, I'll be focusing on some of the largest creatures that can be found in the world's fresh waters, as I'll be ranking each of the seven continents in the world by their largest freshwater fish. I'll only be including strictly freshwater fish, as some giant fish only spend a small part of their lives in freshwater. And if I include brackish and anadromous fish in this video, then it opens the door to more marine species such as bull sharks. Without further ado, we can head over to our first continent, and unfortunately it's not hard to guess which continent comes in at 7th place. Antarctica has a few streams that form in the warmer months, but these streams are completely devoid of fish. Throughout most of the year, it's simply too cold for freshwater fish to survive in Antarctica, and even if they could survive the harsh conditions, there's simply not enough food for them to eat. This means that once again Antarctica comes in at a sorry number 7, but at least it has plenty of fish in its surrounding waters. Oceania has a large number of endemic mammal species, and it's a similar story in its rivers and lakes. On many of the smaller islands that make up Oceania, you can find many small, beautiful species, and a large number of these fish can be found in the aquarium trade. Most of the famous rainbow fish are found on the larger land masses such as Australia and New Guinea, and some of the colourful gudgeons are also found in these waters. Australia's freshwaters are some of the most dangerous in the world, and this is especially the case in the north. In many of the rivers in the Northern Territory, you can find apex predators such as saltwater crocodiles and bull sharks, but there's also a lesser known shark that's really quite distinctive. The Speartooth shark is a species of river shark that's found in Northern Australia and Southern New Guinea, and even though it does spend time in coastal marine waters, it prefers to live in turbid tropical rivers. It's quite a lot smaller than the fearsome bull shark, and thankfully it mostly focuses on other fish and crustaceans. Further inland you can find one of the most ancient and primitive fishes in the world, and there's one very interesting way to spot them. The Australian lungfish, like other lungfish, is a very primitive fish, as they have been on this earth mostly unchanged since the Devonian period. Even though the Australian lungfish can breathe through its gills, if it finds itself in stagnant waters with little dissolved oxygen, it can swim to the surface and breathe atmospheric oxygen. This can be an effective way of finding them, as when they breathe at the surface they make a sound like a small bellows. Australia is also home to a few other interesting species such as the eel-tailed catfish and the giardini, but the largest Australian freshwater fish could swallow these creatures whole. The Murray Cod is an apex predator in the Murray-Darling river system, but unfortunately it's a lot rarer than it used to be. They were heavily overfished in the late 1800s and early 1900s, and today they still haven't quite recovered from this. In 1883, more than 147 tons of Murray Cod were sent to Melbourne from just one river town, and stories such as this were common at the time. Today they are also affected by invasive species, and because of the overfishing, giants are very rare nowadays. In their prime they could grow to monstrous sizes, with some of the largest specimens measuring 1.8 meters in length, and weighing in at 113 kilograms. This colossal fish slots Oceania in at number 6, and hopefully they'll be able to fully bounce back in the future. North America's freshwaters are home to many mysterious creatures, and its freshwater ecosystems vary greatly across the continent. In some waters you'll find beautiful salmon and trout that give the rivers a flash of colour, and in some slower moving southern rivers you'll find prehistoric gar. There are a relatively large amount of predatory fish in North America's rivers, including some fishes pike, catfish and bass. Because many of these fish are aggressive and powerful, they are popular with fishermen, and this has led to them being introduced into many countries around the world. When they are introduced outside of their native range, American fish are known to cause major problems and even in some cases extinctions. Despite this, North America has some unwelcome invaders too, and invasive fish are more prevalent in the south. In places such as Florida, you can find many invasive freshwater fish such as knifefish and snakeheads, and in some rivers there are countless waves of Asian carp. These Asian invaders can turn into giants, but the native fish can get pretty large too. 
Some filter feeders, such as the paddlefish, can reach 1.5 meters in length, and the blue and flathead catfish can weigh over 50 kilograms. These fish are formidable river monsters in their own right, but they don't even come close to the largest freshwater fish in North America. The alligator gar is the largest member of the gar family, and they are named so because of their resemblance to the American alligator. Unlike the American alligator, they have never killed a human, but this didn't stop people from hunting them relentlessly. Thankfully, they do have a healthy population today, but this isn't good news for many of the other creatures in their ecosystem. They use their impressive jaws and teeth to snare fish, turtles, and waterfowl, and the larger the gar, the larger the prey they can target. This diet allows them to reach some pretty impressive sizes, as they can reach a maximum length of around 3 meters, and they can achieve a maximum weight of 150 kilograms. This means that North America and the alligator gar slot in at number 5, and I'm sure they could cause a lot of damage if they wanted to. Africa's waters are frequented by some of the deadliest predators in the world, and you'll often find them filled with very angry herbivores too. If the turbid rapids of the Zambezi and Congo weren't dangerous enough, the deadliest crocodile in the world and one of the deadliest land mammals also call these waters home. Entering Africa's fresh waters is not something you should do unless you really have to, but there are some beautiful fish that can be found here too. If you take a closer look at Africa, you'll find a few giant beautiful lakes that are full of fish. Each lake has its own group of colourful cichlids, many of which are popular in the pet trade. In more stagnant waters, you'll find some hardy catfish and lungfish, some of which can survive months underground while they wait for the water to return. Africa is also full of oddballs such as the insect-eating butterfly fish and the snake-like reed fish, and in more turbulent waters you can find some buck-toothed characters. The Mabu Puffer and the Spotted Congo Puffer are some of Africa's most well-known freshwater puffers, with the Mabu Puffer being the largest freshwater puffer fish in the world. These distinctive fish are known for their big personalities, and their strange teeth allow them to crush crustaceans and mollusks. A bite from one of these guys could easily sever a finger, but there's another African fish that could do a lot worse. The Goliath tigerfish looks like a fish straight out of your nightmares, but thankfully they rarely, if ever, attack humans. They almost exclusively feed on other fish, and because the adults can reach a whopping 1.5 meters in length, the only natural predators of the adults are Nile crocodiles. Even though they are Goliath in name, they are not the largest freshwater fish in Africa, as that title goes to the Nile perch. The Nile perch is a giant ambush predator, and it's in the same genus as the smaller Barramundi. They will feed on pretty much anything that they can fit into their mouths, and this became a problem when they were introduced into Lake Victoria in the 1950s. The Nile perch fed on many of the native species that were not used to dealing with such a large predator, and this caused the extinction and near extinction of many native fish. If you were a smaller fish in Lake Victoria, you'd stand little chance, as they can reach a whopping 2 meters in length, and they can weigh up to 200 kilograms. This giant predator slots Africa in at number 4, and there are no other fish on this list that have caused as much damage. Europe is home to a few freshwater fish that can also be found in North America, such as the northern pike and the brown and rainbow trout. The rainbow trout was actually introduced into Europe from the US in the late 19th century, and the brown trout went the other way around the same time. Europe's waters are home to many carp-like fish, but there are also some daintier riverine species such as the European grayling. There are far less predatory fish in Europe compared to other continents, but the predators it does have are formidable. The European perch is known to grow much larger than its American counterpart, the yellow perch, and the zander is a keen-eyed predator that's very effective in murky waters. These two predators still have to watch their scaly backs, because if they aren't careful, a much larger predator will happily scoop them up. The Wells catfish is one of the largest catfish in the world, and it's even been referred to as a man-eater. Even though there are rumours, there are no verified cases of a Wells catfish killing and eating a human, but human body parts have been found in this fish. It's likely that the fish in these cases were scavenging a dead body, as they aren't known for being particularly picky when it comes to food. They will feed on other fish, amphibians, snakes, and even birds, and their colossal size means that they have no natural predators. 
even though it's extremely unlikely to find a whale's catfish of this size today. They have been measured at 3 meters long, and they can weigh up to 200 kilograms. This is the same weight as the Nile perch, but as it's longer, I've ranked it higher in this video. This means that Europe slots in at number 3, and even though the whale's catfish is not a man-eater, it's still a monster. South America is known for its aquatic ecosystems boasting one of the largest rivers in the world, and the world's largest tropical wetland area. This is where you can find distinctive apex predators such as green anacondas and the black caiman, and these predators have a wide selection of fish to choose from. A large number of colourful fish that can be found in the Amazon can also be found in the pet trade, and this is the case for tank-busting fish too, such as the red-tailed catfish. Some fish have gained a devilish reputation such as the red-bellied piranha and the vampire tetra, but these species are very unlikely to attack humans. The electric eel is capable of ending a human life, and only the dim-witted predators choose to target them. They use their electrical ability to both shock prey and potential predators, and they also use a weak electrical current to navigate their environment. South America is also home to some beautiful freshwater stingrays, but these fish are hated by the locals as they are more than happy to sting if they are stepped on. The Amazon and surrounding waters are full of large predators such as the Dorado and the Wolffish, but there are two much larger predators that really stand out. The Arapaima and the Piraiba are two of the largest freshwater fish in South America, and they live two completely different lives. The Piraiba is the smaller of the two and mostly lives in fast-flowing water, whereas the Arapaima is slightly larger and prefers slower-moving waters. The Arapaima is another prehistoric species, and like many other ancient fish around the globe, it's able to breathe atmospheric oxygen. This ability helps it to hunt in slower-moving waters, and when fully grown, they can feed on almost all fish they come across. The Arapaima can reach a maximum length of around 3 meters, and they can achieve a maximum weight of around 205 kilograms. This slots South America in at number 2, and now there's only one continent left. Asia is home to a wide variety of large rivers, so it makes sense that some of the largest freshwater fish are also found here. Today, Asia's giant freshwater fish is suffering, mostly due to overfishing, pollution, and the building of dams. Some of Asia's most famous fish are the better species, as these tiny characters have found their way into the homes of millions of people around the globe. There are countless groups of gourami in Asia, including the largest gourami in the world. Asia's rivers are home to three fish that are among the largest on this planet, with two of them being the Siamese giant carp and the Mekong giant catfish. Both of these species are critically endangered due to the previously mentioned factors, and as they are so large, it's much easier to catch them in nets. Many sources would have you believe that the Mekong giant catfish is the largest freshwater fish in the world, but there's still one more fish that trumps it. The giant freshwater stingray is found in the estuaries of Southeast Asia, and it's not only the largest freshwater stingray, as it's the largest of all stingrays alive today. This species is rarely seen as it's usually found in very murky waters, but when they are caught, you get to see how large they really are. The giant freshwater stingray reaches a maximum length of around 4 meters, including the tail, and they can reach a maximum weight of around 500 kilograms. Some believe that they can grow even larger than this, but because a stingray of this size is almost impossible to catch, it's likely that we'll never know for sure. This means that Asia and the giant freshwater stingray slot in at number one, and this species really is the king of all of the river monsters. If you believe that there are any other fish that I should have included in this video, then let me know down in the comments below. But for now, thanks for watching, and until next time, goodbye.